just spent uh, three hours and three minutes uh, yes watching <laughs> Salem Slot from 1997 uh, 1979 ah. <sighs> because it's Halloween and you should watch yes. something scary on Halloween yes. this was of course not scary but there you go <laughs> you know? well there were some moments where it's like eh? yeah okay and it was jump scares it was not it was ugly <laughs> <laughs> David Soul wasn't ugly. <laughs> no, David Soul wasn't ugly. But but the monster James Mason wasn't ugly. Uh, James Mason was James Mason. James Mason is always James mm-hmm. Mason. And and but the monster was ugly and yes. and uh, and brief, brief, very brief. 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 The, he was they, a cheap they monster. They to to something very smart, which is if you can't do your monster well, you show him very very briefly. Yeah. 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 Yes. Also, che- it makes so, it cheaper. <laughs> it just makes me really scared for the uh, two thousand what twenty two version. There's a twenty two or twenty three. Yeah, and like, imminent, the... an imminent version of of Salem's Lot. And there's also, I think, a two thousand and three version, which we're definitely not going to a see. A Roblo version. I heard about it. And we're and not going to see the twenty two version either. Scary stuff. So this is actually a reaction by people who do not like scary stuff. No. Although you watch some scary stuff. Uh, not of this type, no. no. And, no and not, not the classic horror. Uh, if it's really camp, like if you go straight mm-hmm. to a hammer horror, which is so so underproduced, let's put it like that, mm-hmm. that you don't believe a word of it, mm-hmm. it's fine. Yes. <laughs> so um, how it, was this not a hammer horror? A uh, hammer horror is a is is a. Uh, uh, it's just a set of films produced by the Hammer Company, so oh, they, uh, it's right, it's right. it's like Disney, but yeah. there's this. Not every horror is a Disney. No, is, I, no, I mean. no, not not every animated but movie. Is the Disney. Hammer horrors are important because they did like uh oh, twenty thirty movie length mm-hmm. uh, uh, films that were in the cinema, but ended up on TV being rerun and rerun in England mm-hmm, and in mm-hmm, States mm-hmm, a lot. Mm-hmm. And uh, making is... the people in it very famous as well. Yeah, that also. But every kid who wasn't allowed to see something at that late at night would be watching it on the sly. And uh, so it's mm-hmm, a thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of the tropes that are in this thing are straight from the Hammer Horrors of how to just... It's simply a how to do a horror... Uh, Television or cheap horror. Yeah, uh, you don't have quite have the budget. Yeah, most of the budget. Well, the budget was obviously spent on on the special effects and stuff. But basically, most of the time, there's he gets in a car, he drives from A to B. We pretend it's Maine. Um, he we drives pretend very to, hard. It's Maine. Yes, <laughs> he, he drives in from A to B somewhere in California, and um, they did try to find the only place where they were actually flowers in bloom in california to yeah. to have them yeah. have a love have, yeah. have to have um, them have a love relation uh, scene in the, in between the flowers but yes. they had to look for it yes, yes. <laughs> there has to be a lake with some lovely deciduous trees and yeah that also but but, a little bit of but a the flowers and the trees are not in the same spot so so, no, so never, <laughs> never but that's that's okay you point the camera that way and that's your scene yeah <laughs> so th- they try um, to make it look like Maine, but um, um, I've not been to Maine. I've been to California, and uh, but not to that part because it's Los Angeles, obviously. Yeah, and um, and so location as Dutchies, we are not really uh, equipped. Bothered? Equipped? <laughs> we and, don't care. <laughs> equipped and or bothered by the fact that that this that is uh, is supposed to make me Maine. I, even I can see, and I've not been, that this is not well, actually yeah, Maine. Yeah, it's there in the desert. You can see it from the dust piling. <laughs> so we're willing, it's okay. we're willing, suspending and or injuring our disbelief to <laughs> to get us to Maine. It doesn't actually matter that the whole thing is in Maine. Right, there we so go. Filming locations is... Um, the street is known in Ferndale, California. The Marston, Marston House, that's the one... And then another street in Firmdale, California, for the Barlow and Straker's Fine Antiques. Yeah. Uh, oh, Crockett's Realty. It's all in Ferndale. Mm. Uh, cemeteries in Ferndale. And they even use the Ferndale High School. Well, that makes sense because they yeah. have one or two high school. But the thing yeah. is, it doesn't actually matter that it's not in Maine because the story is not about Maine other than a little bit of, oh, no. we need some old history. And it's actually for, for a, um, a Stephen King. And I've not read the book, so we're going to keep it to this movie only. Because I don't think you've read the book. 
Uh, You're going to read it. For Stephen King, it is literally like as generically America as you can make it. All it says, we're not in the big city. No, no, no. The, no, there's, they, are the, spe- no they are specific about Maine because the play they're putting on at the, at the high school is, is about, about the independence war. About yeah. independence war, which is important yeah. in Maine and not in California. And I yeah. do understand that. So that's well, the only reference to it. educational and uh, yeah. Uh, the other reason it's in Maine and not yeah. in California is because the Betty arrives from Europe and the yes, first... of the course. First, he would be coming from the east. From the east. And so you arrive on the east coast and not yes. on the west coast. So that yes, makes sense yes, also. Yes, yes. But it doesn't really matter that it's Maine mm-hmm. versus Boston versus uh, Florida versus Texas versus California versus Seattle. It's, it's uh, such uh, an uh, Washington, uh, the, Washington way State. Way and they it doesn't make, matter. They even make a point of it that, that this uh, vampire set people come to this sort of uh, in they called it like ingrown or something like that uh, inbred uh, inbred inbred little out of the way community that's specifically what what is said at the end of the movie spoiler don't watch this if you don't want spoilers um, and and so that could be anywhere it doesn't even have to be the US you know it could be no, there's uh, always going to be an out of the way place where people have been static for a while and you know yeah, and the one one person comes into town. It's 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 the talk of the town for the next two months. Uh, and in this case, two people came into town almost at the same time. Well, we only for the for a, for a very long while we only get to see the one guy. We get to see the butler. I'm gonna call him the butler because he's not the butler, but he butlers around. Uh, yeah. uh, played by James Ma- uh, uh, James Mason, and he's very very good. He's one of the stars. Of, that's another thing that's with the Hammer Horrors. The Hammer Horrors were always very smart to get like one or two main names, which they actually yeah. made themselves. But now yeah. these are two David Saul, David Saul, Saul James, Mason. James Mason. Get the one and two. They both ma- at that point have this uh, uh, notoriety, they, they, they have fame. Uh, yes. Yeah. Get in your couple of names and then fill it up with all your extras. And yeah. Hollywood is full of them. And the interesting thing is when you look at the list of the people there uh, in on IMDb of the people who are in it, especially the older people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll show some I pictures. Have IMDb. The the especially the headshots of these people. Yes. Some of them are going to be the headshots of when they were stars in oh, the fifties yeah. and forties, fifties and sixties. Oh, yeah, and you can pick them out. And these were not main stars in the forties, mm-hmm. fifties, sixties, but they were all in all these movies that that like he would they would they was like the, the the sheriff here or the father there or the mo- the mother there or yeah. or or the the, the schoolmistress there and yeah. the, uh, one of the yeah. uh, one of the old the, she has actually, Eva Miller. They actually, by Marie Windsor. Yeah, they, she actually gets a, like a, a nice shot from the fifties. Yeah, yeah, she actually gets a nice scene because they know that she yeah. can actually play it because she was a slightly more. Uh, uh, more headliner than some of the others. She actually had some some major, more major roles, and they knew that she could play a scene. Yeah. So they had her play a scene, yeah. which was really nice. Yeah, um, and that's that's of course a selling point for those uh, miniseries to to bring it on and go. Yeah. Oh, and by and with this person, and with that person. But these were not important people. And in seventy nine, when this was made. Hollywood had been on its behind for about 10 years. Mm-hmm. And everybody who was Hollywood, uh, who was young and beautiful in the 50s, the 40s, 50s, 60s, are now realizing, oh my God, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I might actually have to go and it work. Was, the, the, the studio system had just perished. It had perished. Thing. And so you have the last remnants here of that studio system who are still there and ready to go, give me any job, I will take it and mm-hmm. do a good job. Because everybody does a good job. It's uh, yeah. it, it's it, not uh, on, only the yeah. few headliners, and we can argue if if David Soul was a headliner. He, yes, he was because um, Starsky and Hutch at the time was. Uh, he's a headliner in TV. James in Mason. Yes. James Mason. This is a mo- supposed to be a movie. James Mason. It's a TV head- movie. James ha- Mason is the headliner. It was never a feature film. It was never in the theaters. It was television production. Yeah, yeah. but James Mason is the headliner, and David Soul is the young blood to help it along. And then you have yes. the entire cast of uh, other people, uh, yeah. including the young Chappie. Yeah, so uh, Mark is played by Lance Kerwin. 
who didn't do much else, I think. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, from his... Oh, little ones. He, he, he stayed, he stayed a little, he, stayed, he did yeah, keep he was, doing little ones, little things. Yeah, yeah and he, di- he did a lot of one-shot episodes in, in TV series, but he also seems to have done some movies with James Spader and, Ooh, and, and cool. some of the Brad cool. Pack people but, but he was... in that early 80s era. Yeah. Uh, he may not have gone along with them, but he's, he's, he still has, you know, even up to this day, he has some items on IMDb. Oh, that's cool. He's so, still around, but I he think, was young. I think he, he, was, he, yes, was, he was very young. He was 19. And uh, it was a little confusing to us, me, uh, as to what what age he's supposed to be playing. Because he's in the school play that looks like kind of like an, a, a middle school kind of situation. So he's 12. Is he 14? What is no, he? No, no, he's at least 15. Yeah. He, I think. He, he, because he he's actually, he's, he's, he's writing 15, the play. 16. He's writing the play and basically he's but, running that part of it. But the, the teacher, uh, who I uh, should look him up, Jason, uh, does say to Ben, our David Soul character, the main character, he says... Ah, uh, you also wrote the plays, and I I like to do I like to do yeah, that. But, and, but when did you leave? Oh, at eleven. He left at eleven. So that kind of points to hmm. that Mark is also eleven or twelve, which no. is no no so no no no. I, don't, movie, I I cannot accept accept. I know. That's, I've, so that the, would make the him problem make him thirteen at the end of the movie. One of the problems of this movie, it's and it's and it's not. specifically a problem with Stephen King stuff. And sorry if you're a Stephen King fan. Yeah, but we're I'm, not going to be too kind on of Stephen King right now. He <laughs> is inconsistent. So at one point he makes uh, the 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 one chappy. Uh, Practically in the same position as the other chappy, and the one chappy he makes obviously fifteen, and the other chappy says, "Oh, it was eleven when I left." Yeah. And that is inconsistent. And there's oh. other inconsistencies, especially like uh, th- th- all over the lore, the va- the the vampire lore. Which one is it? Is he going to stick to it? Yes. Even if he is he going to pick a lane and stick to it? And the and the answer yeah. is no. So <laughs> the, the the biggest crackling point was when they they were in the uh, the kitchen of Mark and his parents' house, uh, who as, at that point are established as Catholics because they have the Catholic priest in the kitchen talking about that Mark says he he saw a vampire. Um, why the Mm, he would actually say that. I don't know. I wouldn't. If I then you'd say, okay, if he's eleven, he would say that. If he's fifteen, he probably wouldn't say that. Anyway, um, so uh, where was I going? Uh, he's in the in the in, uh, inconsistent. In yeah, because then at at the at the point in the kitchen is where do you get the shaking and you get the poltergeist yeah, the stuff. Pol- poltergeist stuff from what turns out to be our main. Uh, uh, yeah, so, like daddy vampire, or whatever yeah. he is, is 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 like the main vampire. But are we saying okay, this vampire is so powerful that he can do this poltergeist stuff and can, like grow out of the ground and then suddenly be there, uh, shake the kitchen uh, before he's ev- even there? Why? That I mean, and that's that's not part of it, vampire it, lore. No. What what is va- vampire lore? Is is the bewitching, the just just influencing somebody in? in yes, a, that's, that's really well done, and that's well done because then you, you're 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 piecing that together. It's like you get the kid at the window at first, and the other kid goes towards him and then opens the window. But then the kid av- arrives at the window at Mark's window, our our young 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 hero. Uh, and he actually understands that. Yeah, he's pulled uh, in at first by the yes, spell, yes. and then he understands what but the spell he, is. He realizes what's going on, even though he actually has no reason at that point yet to know that there's anything going on. So that's the first moment that he is in confronted with it, and he has the wherewithal to grab a, a, fa- a, a, a small toy um, cross. cross and to close the window because this thing does seem to adhere to the thing of you're not uh, vampires don't come in unless they've been invited yep. uh, the guy and I would have to look up his name but the guy who works at the cemetery who, who gets turned is actually in the professor's house Professor Jason's house he's been brought Jason, there before because they realized he was already there when he had been bitten 
And so he can actually already appear or at least open a window and or then door the prof- and appear the, in the house. And then the professor... So that's consistent. <coughs> yeah, and then the professor denies him entry and pushes him out. And that's consistent. But the poltergeist yeah. stuff, where does it come from? And and another thing, and that's yeah. that's a, that's a another sin one. against filmmaking, yeah. is if you're going to do that once, you have to do it twice or three times. Yeah. They did, just did it once. Establish that that is the rule. Establish it that it's the rule first, then do it, and then later do it. At, at the right moment and it, they just did it once and that is not allowed in so filming so I'm going to assume that that's in the book because why would you put that in uh, there was no reason for the vampire to appear inside the house at the point. again Even also if in this case the vampire had not been given entry so you say okay you have you no, have minion vampires he was the daddy vampire he was the daddy well, vampire well most other vampire shows don't seem to have that Particular, I mean, not that much of a difference. Yes, and, they could be and, more powerful, but not. And not the reason this kind of like different. The problem is, is the re- exactly the reason why we're talking about mm. it. It is unclear, and they, and you have to, uh, if you're going to do a lore, is pick your lore and stick to it. And the film doesn't do that, and that actually detracts from from the movie. I mean, it's not the most brilliant movement anyway, but this sort of thing does detract from from our immerseness into it. We are we yes. we want to. Uh, suspend we our disbelief with it and but if every time a, our, our disbelief is going we're going why yeah. did this happen this doesn't fit with what happened earlier that and I'll, actually I'll, disturbs I, us I, I know that i want to spend suspend my disbelief because by the time that uh, ben is driving around uh trying to tell people that all this is going on i'm rooting for him to actually sway them and and be able to it's like okay l- let's hope that they actually get to see that it's going on so that they're on his side and they can all go fight it because I've al- I've already suspended my disbelief of course there is the whole thing is is you know lunatic one part I really liked was when the constable packs up his entire family and he's about to go and of course our Ben just gets there in time because at that point he's just literally bobbing around town dry, it's driving it's from because, A to B it's because constantly. he has a, has a script right, right it's, it's like to, now you have to be there and I have to be there and I have to be there and these people are there and it's like, so that's 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 kind of fun because of course we like to see David Sol driving around in cars and I mean, Starsky Hutch. Anyway, you know, he's a little bit Hutch, isn't he? Um, he is a bit Hutch. And yes, <laughs> yes, we, we do like that. And he needs to save everybody. So he, he's like, you can't leave. You can't leave. Um, one part I like about it is that the guy's actually right. Get the hell out of town because this is a, lo- this is, this is a lost cause. Yeah. And <laughs> the guy gives him a gun. Yep. So as, as in... I, 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 this is beyond me. My, I need to get my family out of here. He even literally has like his, his, his little chair on the roof of the, of the uh, car. Uh, it's, it just, yeah. And the car is filled with everybody probably. Yeah, and he's the sho- shoving in, in uh, ba- uh, um, bags, uh, uh, suitcases on top of the buses into the car. Get the, get the F then, out of here. And then Ben says, you can't leave. You're the only law here. Da, 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 da. And, and, and we were debating that he should deputize uh, Ben. Which may but not that's be a not thing. possible, maybe. Maybe we think. we think it's probably not a thing may, in Maine. So it may not be possible in Maine. So you'd have to look that up, let us know in the comments. <laughs> but anyway, so the guy gives him a gun and says pretty much good luck. Um, you have now been deputized and, and, by, by de facto yeah, and, gun and we're, giving. And we're like a gun for <laughs> vampires, not unless you've got silver bullets. However, gun comes in handy. Yeah, for the butler. He would not have had the gun otherwise. So it's actually a good plot point. It's The script is put together quite well. Yeah, and I think that, uh, I mean, the States is known for being a place with guns, but Maine is not known for being a place and, with and guns. And he so obviously had no weapons. He's he not had the kind pen. of guy. He yeah, that's his, <laughs> that's his weapon. <laughs> that was actually his weapon because he was there to, to write about the scary house. Yeah. And he probably never trusted it because he talks with Jason, the teacher, in the beginning. He talks about how he feels that he actually saw ghosts there that harkened back to... He had this creepy experience with the ghosts um, uh, when that he was the, the central The central theory of the, the film, and I suppose the book, is that uh, the house attracts bad... The house people. is intrinsically evil, and it attracts the uh, the, uh, the um, vampire. Basically, gets attracted to the house, mm-hmm. uh, and that is why it is there. Yeah. 
uh, what I, I think, and, and it was actually not, it's not in the movie as such, but when they leave, that mm-hmm. the end of it is a big mess because they basically they do win, they they burn down the house, yeah. they they stake the vampire, yeah. and they appears that they 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 killed off the 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 sub vampires in the near vicinity, yeah. but maybe not all they, they, not they... all the infected ones in the town. No, there are infected ones, people walking around. But the, the, the main guy is completely de- dead, dead, dead. And but so that's... also the, the minions uh, that were in the house uh, all go up in flames. And he was keeping the minions close to him. If they were not out yeah. doing stuff, the minions were there with yeah, the vampire. So only the half-turned people would still be around town that, that, that will would turn be... into turned people. But will they have their... Because they keep saying he... He is wanting this, and he will help us, and he will give us yeah, and if he's gone, internal life. In some of the versions of the lore, if the main vampire is gone, the sub-vampires just die, mm-hmm. or stop being vampires, or some other way it stops. And that's what it appeared to be at the end, at the bur- burning house. And then we get the scene later... Which completely... Co- I'm not going to tell you if you, if you want this, ever want to see it. Unless you have something to say about it. I don't think so. Um, it I completely do actually. Oh, that's, in that case, we can. But what it does is actually completely turn it on its head. Because the minion that she, he was most interested in, in the girl that he was most interested in, who got herself... <sighs> you, she was in a She walked movie. in the house at the wrong time. And we were like... Why? Don't walk into that house. No. Don't even go to that house. Yeah, but Didn't that's... he tell you to get the hell out of town? Yeah. It, it, that's that's a trope of horror movies that you may or may not be very familiar no, with. No, I don't watch f- horror movies. It's a trope in horror movies that you're supposed to go. Oh, don't go go into no, the cellar. Go don't go into, into the, the house. house. And it, and and it's and then she does anyway. And then she does anyway. Why? And a very Why? boring. That that that's yeah, and that's, then I don't like that. <laughs> then she gets uh, caught. Then she gets. I suppose she gets bitten, which is actually off screen. Yeah. It does happen. Yeah. And then the main vampire is murdered, and all these minions and a sp- the, yes. are murdered. Uh, are, yes. are are cease to exist by fire, which is very permanent in yeah. in, in, in vampire lore. And then later, turns so, up. Yeah. So then in Mexico. Um, you have the scene where the two, the two of them, so our very adult Ben and our possibly now later teen. No, Mark. he's eighteen. He's eighteen. Yeah, we're gonna. But he, even if he's sixteen, he's in the company of an adult. Yeah. So and besides, his, all his parents are dead. Nobody knows where he is. Yeah. Nobody cares where he is. Um, but, but that, so I, I figure so because I'm a supernatural watcher, and I figure at that point they are two years seasoned. Uh, monster hunters, yeah. or if you're into Buffy the Vampire Slayer, vampire hunters. Um, but the, they the, know everything. They, they know, know everything. They have seen everything. Because okay, so here's the thing: you have this vampire who spreads vampirism around him, and th- 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 actually, this vampire got 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 axed. Um, but he's not going to be the only one, and he's been spreading vampirism around him for hundreds of years. In a way so that, that the law is... always going to be vampires making little vampires the problem, everywhere. The problem of the scene is, and, and there's a couple of problems, is one, it starts off saying, oh, we, we, they are after us. How the hell would they know about that? Yeah, that's that, I don't understand that. So that's dumb. And then what, and uh, also, then, I, even worse... Then Mark says we need to go further, and they don't take that. I mean, if you drop a line like that, which they did at the very beginning, and then at the end you go back to this the very the scene that's two years later. So then now I'm expecting payoff from this further. What do you mean further? What what does further mean? In what way are you far? Are you far away, or are you far into vampire killing? Or what? What is it you're doing? Because if you look at Vampire, Buffy Vampire Slayer, they actually ha- they have a witch to help them uh, in 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 Supernatural. They have witches to help them. They use witchcraft themselves because everybody in Supernatural fandom can actually use yeah. magic if they do it right. Um, so that's a way you could go further. We could learn better how to no, eradicate f- vampires. They meant physically on the map further but there's away. No, there's no getting but away from them. The further away there's, from what? That's from what I'm saying. Salem, Basically, Salem lot? They're from already... Mexico, if Mexico isn't far, far enough away, then no, nothing is. 
that also, but but there is no sense that 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 the one central vampire, which was very much a very different monster than a human being who has been recently turned. Although they did turn very ugly when once they. I think Kirby. they slowly over years. Yeah, would but it's going to take years. Like so who oh, is the central decades? vampire? If hundreds there's... of years. Exactly. So who's the vamp- central vampire? And the central vampire is going to need a butler, uh, or 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 yes. just a human minion to yes. to fluff and fold him. Yes. And uh, you know. There was just uh, let's just throw some lore in the in the air and see 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 it just f- flutter I liked down. The Butler situation, Straker. Uh, uh, James being, Mason was wonderful. Well, hey, what's not to like? Um, all he, he needs was to very do is, creepy. Yeah, all he needs to do is walk in the room and say a couple of words, and we all go, "Oh, yes, <laughs> I know you're the bad guy, but I care." Um, <laughs> But the, the, the thing is that the, that's, that's a setup, and what I like about it is they never explain anything about it. But what I don't like about it is that you therefore don't know how these other vampires would even go towards that. Is, is that something they would go towards if they become 100 years old? Is, how does that work? I mean, how do you recruit a dude like that? It and doesn't we, even... we were also dis- discussing his motivation. He might actually be a priest of vampirism or something like yeah. that. Or maybe... Uh, uh, it's his the, the, life fulfillment to serve it, the, the dark one. In the lores that, that I've heard about, definitely. I'm not into it, but I, as, story, as a storytelling trope, I'm interested. In the lores, very often a, a vampire who, who uh, becomes old and has to be... Uh, get stranger and stranger and stranger they get a a minion of this type f- maybe from a tribe in Romania who always sends like there like one of the sons yeah. to be the butler of a vampire because uh, it to them it is and, that actually and I'm would picking make Romania sense. because that's we we don't want to bash Romania <laughs> 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 but Transylvania um <laughs> But it's so. a Transylvanian uh, uh, little village there from which they always send one person mm-hmm. to be the butler of this particular vampire who is associated with their village. Maybe yeah. something like that. And I could see yeah. that, but I don't see it here because it looks like the James Mason butler character is coming to the end of his, his time. He, he looked he like looks, he, 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 was, was... he was tired. Yeah, he was tired and he was going to die. At the same time, he picked up that uh, uh, the father of, of the girl. Sorry, blanking on the names right now. Uh, he picked it, him up and literally lifted him, walked him to a wall and killed him. Yeah. Um, uh, spoilers. It's uh, a creepy show. It was also um, very horrific because horror movie. Yeah, I, I found it the, was moderately the wallpaper horrific. very interesting yeah. at that point. Um, but um, so... What was I going to say? Yeah, so he actually gets superhuman strength out of this. He does get stuff out of it. Yeah, Probably maybe he, a lot more than we, we know. But maybe this is he a gets, hint that he gets stuff out of maybe it. Maybe he gets longevity, but exactly. it's not... He, we don't know if he is an, a 75-year-old James Mason or if he's 175 or 750. But he's not going to be getting uh, the longevity and strength of a turned vampire because... And but he doesn't seem to uh, have to, want that. to wish to become a yeah. vampire. And he's fulfilled in his job as so he is. So there yeah. is a lot there for the James Mason character to be interesting. He's a happy, happy little maniac. <laughs> and and uh, possibly, I think he may be the most interesting character in this yeah. in, in, in this little little yeah. shindig. Yeah. And and that is, that is not a compliment. We, we, we because, did oh. Well, I found my interesting he got not enough suspicion in the yeah. first uh, part it's in two parts the first part you barely get anything other than he's a studious kid and he wants to do well and he is the storyteller just like Ben is the storyteller for, of his generation uh, when he was in that school um, so he has lots of potential which is great but in part two you actually get to know that he is a horror fan and a uh, yeah, he, he's into the occult. Yeah, and, and it turns out he, he knows he what to do, what stuff. to do with a vampire because yes. he's so, already studied age that of stuff. Age of the geek. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's an early geek. Age yeah. of the geek, baby. Yeah. Um, so he, yeah, he actually was be- best equipped next to the adjacent school teacher, who was actually reading books on vampirism when he had the um, um, the vampire uh, cemetery guy. 
who I should know. His name is Mike, played by Jeffrey Lewis. And <laughs> he's in a lot of stuff. So if you go, I know that face. I actually had that with like at least six or seven of mm. the of the side characters. Like, I yeah. know that face. Well, they were all... all TV actors you've seen in a hundred things. Yes. And 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 two of the TV, uh, two of those actors were in uh, Starsky and Hutch as well. David Sills, Starsky and Hutch, just mentioning. Um, it had just finished. It's not just four, four years of Starsky and Hutch. Uh, therefore I assume that all these people were like available um, yeah. and um, and that's 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 f- fine and yeah. um, I think maybe some closing remarks on this thing is it worth seeing ish what are you looking for are you looking for a nice comfy um, um, uh, creepy romp yes yes, yes. Uh, you need a lot of popcorn um, and some time. Uh, you can do the washing up while you're doing it. You for, can for do the, the first washing part. up in yes, definitely time for for tea making and all of that and chit chat with yeah. with the friends. Um, so yeah, that for that yes, for the special effects, I would Not say anymore. be Not a anymore. little cautious or be a little uh, generous because it's yeah, it's 1980. They had no digital effects whatsoever. They had, all had to do it real effects, and it was television. Yeah. Um, but also that said, uh, the, the 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 creepy vampire is about the only special effects that there is. Uh, the, um, the minions when they turn. Yeah, the minions. Minions. I thought, I thought the little. minions when they turned were, was actually done extremely well. I think the vampire himself is is the least of them because yeah, you have to do creepy monster and it's 2022 when we're yeah, making this as, we, have, as c- we people... have the entirety of lord of the rings and orcs and everything yeah. so once you've had peter jackson doing stuff you go well anything before that is is of course naff but it's not it's because naff. it is it is naff <laughs> it but, is naff. but once you accept that you're watching something from 1979 and 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 everyone's doing a, a they, they, they're giving it their all. Yeah, a TV thing from 1979. Um, they, yeah. the, 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 what the other complaint is, and that is going to be for yeah. anything from 1979, it's yeah, slow. It's too slow. It's so just make your slow. cups of tea. But it picks up in the second part. It really yeah. does. Yeah. And, and also they've I, established I, enough, but in the first part, they could have literally done the, done the entire first part in half an hour. Yeah. And, uh, and I do have to say, once they get actually get to the house... Yeah, am I caught in? The yes, you are. Caught in the... <laughs> I'm caught in the webbing. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Um, when once they get to the creepy house, uh, the creepy house is really creepy, and yeah. we actually got a really nice DVD uh, version. Uh, so uh, because they recorded this on actual film, film material, it is beautifully restored. It comes onto yeah. DVD beautifully, and that yeah. house is really creepy yeah. and dusty and icky, and, and they didn't rats. spare anything. Because sometimes when you have TV stuff and yeah. it's only meant for TV, and then you see the the film print of it on mm-hmm. DVD, you see, oh, they didn't mean for you to see that. There's nothing no, like that here. Nothing. There's this no point is where very spiffly produced. But what what I like about the Stephen King style of of making creepy stuff is that he starts so mundane. Everything's mundane. You have a little cafe. You have everybody's kitchens. You have a a, a schoolroom. He, he he gets a room in a, a boarding house or whatever that thing's called, and he actually has to negotiate to whether or not he can actually have any food. So yeah, you can use the kitchen, but keep your stuff separate. Um, so it is not even a, a, a you know a, a restaurant in town. Yeah. Because there's nowhere else to eat but at home, which is very interesting because in 1980, 79, I would imagine that even a small town like that would have a couple of places. But in the he meets he meets a girl there and he yeah. basically goes to that night he goes to eat goes at her place eat. her parents' place because at, she's living with her parents and there's nothing and else to eat and they go out afterwards which is sort of yeah. we, we were looking at it funny hey what they're doing because yeah. they're leaving after they've been to yeah. the dinner thought, and then they leave both leave yeah. because doesn't she live there or doesn't she live yeah. there I'm confusion not sure. on our end <laughs> but that was us but, uh, <laughs> yeah it's, that's that's the thing is they they were setting up to go and have a lovely evening together the the smallness of the town is also accentuated that the her dad actually calls him out on hey you you were at the lake with my girl and somebody my, saw you a very adult school teacher girl yeah and 24 and so or I, I i won't blame you for doing that but really be more discreet and i thought that and and, and the reaction of ben was also like i got gotcha, you yeah 
my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone to the cinema. So, they had the choice yeah, of yeah. go to the lake Three or go to the, c- to the cinema. Yeah. That was it. I forget what the third choice was. There was, was no third choice. The, yeah, it was like, and, and she was like, <laughs> Lake Ahaha. And he, and <laughs> and we, he went, Ahaha. He said, where, where would you like to go? And he, he's established as, as this really wonderful, sweet guy who also happens to be a, a widower. I think... That may be a Stephen King thing to to make him a tragic figure, whereas actually the character was not tragic at all. Yeah, I, I think that's uh, the, the, the. It's just no no reason for him no, at, because at thirty or thirty five years old to be a widower. But uh, I think that's that's a, a plot trick to show that he's a really nice guy yeah. because he did. And he uh, is a nice he, guy. He's, he he's didn't decent. get he di- he he's unattached, so you can attach him. That's important. But so he's romance. he's not unattached because he got a divorce and therefore has a that mm-hmm. a, a picked a fight with somebody and B has an ex wife. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's a widower because then she didn't actually leave him, but um, stuff happened, and then he's also tragic. What more could you possibly want? Yeah, and he's available very clearly. But he is not a, a sad widower. He's clearly over the whole thing. It's two years ago and he's moved on. Yeah. And, um, and maybe that's because they, 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 they downplay. Because if when, when, when you get a script and, and the way they play it, it's not mm-hmm. always how it was written I in the script nowadays, in, in attentions. They would have probably said, yeah, I got married to the wrong person. I'm divorced. It's two years ago. I'm over it. And I think that would have worked better. And then you say, okay, he's a responsible now, yeah. guy, but maybe in 1975 when the book, I think, book came out in 75. 75, yeah. So that may not have been a thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I I think that the acting, some of the acting could have been better, but at the same time, you work with what you got and the script didn't help the acting. So the script was just too slow in the first part, but it picks up in the second part and the action picks up in the second part. So all the setup that you're going through in the first part, and if you like that, yay, it's got a little bit of a mystery vibe to it as well. So if you're a mystery watcher, I think it's also worth watching. Then you you, you, you have the patience. I did not have the patience. <laughs> Basically, this there's, is me. there's a so. lot, there's a lot there, and somebody, some modern person, should just take the yeah. footage and cut out, cut about half of it out, yeah. and 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 speed it up a little bit and yeah. give it a little oomph, and and yeah. it should be fine. So they might be doing that for the new movie. And yeah, that's but it's going to be very, very creepy. Yeah, very scary. We're not going to watch it. It's going to be a lot more bloody because this uh-huh. was practically not bloody at all. No, no. Um, this you could actually watch with the kids. I don't know what the, what the age thing is uh, on there, there but you can of, watch. There are a couple of, jab, a couple of jump scary scares stuff, in there. But and then again, Disney is scary sometimes too. And uh, it's not that the, the, the main vampire is not creepy because he's so, un- of, so very unbelievable. But the minions who get turned from a person who is a normal person to a minion to a sub vampire is that is pretty scary that's the creepy part that's yeah. the creepy part yeah although uh, the, the jump scares of the vampire yeah. are also creepy yes but they're different creepy and and you sort of, it is a horror expect jump scares i think i think they're cheap but uh, i don't like horror so there mm-hmm. there and uh, but as horrors go it is not the ugliest thing i've seen now <laughs> horrors can be really ugly yeah. All the rest of the people are pretty, and not pretty a lot of splatter lo- either. I mean, it's, no. it's 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 not. This is a bloodless affair. Yes. For a vampire well, thing, there's like no blood in it at all. No, <laughs> no, I don't think any. There's not a single drop of blood anywhere. They bite, but that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is my opinion, and my opinion, and, and we're sticking to it. it. Happy Halloween.